way of the Petitier. Okay, next. Okay, we got Stand and Sip, the Meat Grill, Fishy Flavors, and the Veggie pl Parlor. Maybe I should so, tackle that one. Oh, I forgot that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go tackle that one first. That one was right next to the guy. Actually, I'll take that last then. I'll tackle that last. I think this is one right here. Mm -hmm. Come enjoy the healthy food <laughs> of the earth! <laughs> she wrote a book in her head! That's hilarious. Pea soup. Pea soup. Even kids who Hold hate the pea. love my veggie dishes. Ugh. Vitamins and vegetables are determined by their color. You want a wide variety for a well-balanced diet. You need a pumpkin on your head. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Alright, what was the next one? Alright, you have Fishy Flavors, Meat Grill, and Stand and Sip. They're all up there, those mm -hmm. three, okay. Mm -hmm. Enjoying all the food, but I hope all these rich meals don't slow you down. See, I'm getting fat. This is the Gluttons Corner. Fishy Flavors. Every one of our fish is fresh caught and delicious. Our fish and chips. We get our seafood fresh every morning. Comes straight out of the ocean. Tastes great raw or grilled. A chef is even more important when preparing uncooked dishes. The way you slice a tuna makes all the difference in the world. Okay. You're gonna be a real food connoisseur by the time this is over. Step right up. Get the best meat and kebabs in you. Kebabs. Behe burger. The behe burger. <laughs> no, it's behemoth meat. Wildlands. Hey. Yep, it's from the Wildlands. It's the Reaver meat. Grilling and roasting Yum. are the best. The now it's gonna come at me again for eating it. Flavors. <laughs> and we do that better than anyone else. Two more places like and you have managed to sample all the pocket. Welcome! How can I be of help? This is a bar. The green chili. Green chili. From the elegant simplicity of straight spirits on the rocks to complex and fruity concoctions with little umbrellas, we serve all kinds of drinks. Cocktails can be served, chilled or warm, shaken or stirred. Everyone has their own preferences. We encourage customers to consult Alcohol. with our staff to create the perfect cocktail to accompany. Damn. Alright, I gotta get the other one. Almost there, light. Right near where he is. One more restaurant left to visit. So easy. I get more clear ooze. Oh, clear ooze. It's a banquet of the law. And he's right there. In the banquet of the garden. No, he passed him. <gasps> no! Hello, welcome. Oh, really you're ugly. This is good. It is, thank you. Word of our shop's special flavor has quickly spread through word of mouth. This city is known for its gourmet restaurants, but none can hold a candle to the chefs we have assembled in our kitchens. Best chefs in the city, huh? Blackley mentioned his fiance <gasps> was a great cook. I wonder. Ma'am? Is there something I can help you with? That's what it said, Matt D. I hope so. I'm looking for someone by the name of Filiana. According to her fiance, <coughs> she was a fantastic cook. Does this ring look familiar to you at all? Oh, yes, yes, of course. I recognize that. The woman was a wonderful cook indeed. Was? Though the strange thing is, I never knew her by the name of Filiana. She may have assumed another name. Was the woman you knew beautiful enough to turn the head of every man in the room? Hmm. Now, this is taking quite an odd turn. She was no doubt a very handsome woman, but very advanced in age. I suppose she must have been beautiful enough to turn heads once, but she was undeniably an old woman. Of course, we are all <laughs> old age, but she must have been quite elderly already when time stopped for all of us. An old woman? I suppose that can't be Lackley's lost fiance. Well, it could. It could be. Where is she now? 
I'm afraid I don't know. The lady in question fell ill and left our restaurant. I believe she moved to Luxarian to live with the support of an old friend there. Do you know how to reach her? Or that friend? I told you I only have to come here and talk to him and then you're done. I don't know that woman to go back to or Luxarian. anything else about her. I saw her only once. You just do it when you go she back was there. a young okay. woman, and if I recall correctly, her wearing a rather unusual hat. Perhaps she was her daughter. I see. Thanks for your time. You've been a great help. Lackley's ring ended up on the finger of a beautiful but old woman. Unless so that old woman's his fiance's mom. Mm -hmm. I'm not oh. looking forward to telling Lackley about it, but he deserves the truth. He needs to know. Welcome. Snow special. When offering a complete dining experience to discerning patrons, superb food and excellent drinks are not enough. One must always anticipate the needs of your patrons. I am constantly assessing the dining space from the viewpoint of my customers, the comfort, the decor. Our customers want more than just the meal. They come for the memories they conceive of for years to come. Well, you visited all the best right? Well, how goes the culinary tour? I did what you suggested. I visited the top restaurants in the neighborhood. That is excellent news. So now let me give you the advice I promised. If CD's restaurant wants to turn its business around, uh, wait, let me ask you something first. You've eaten at CD's and at the best establishments in Usnan. Why don't you tell me what you think is the main difference between the two? I'd be interested to hear your opinion, in your own words, of course. Why? Is this some kind of test? Yes, exactly. Now tell me, what did all the successful restaurants have in common that poor old CDs lacks? Let me see. Everyone I spoke to was helpful. They seemed honest and open. I don't think they were lying to me, but something... something seemed off. Oh, would you care to elaborate? Well, it almost felt like they were hiding something from the customers. But it wasn't as if they were deliberately lying or trying to deceive anyone. In fact, I don't think they realized it themselves. They thought they were telling me everything they knew. Yes, that's it. It was unconscious, like an instinct. They were hiding something, but they weren't doing it deliberately at all. I'd say the very best chefs, restaurant managers, and bartenders all share some kind of secret. It's like a special ingredient that makes their food stand out from the others. What a wonderful deduction. You have hit the nail on the head. To think you discovered this answer only after visiting a few establishments. It is as you say. The best, most successful restaurants have a certain je ne sais quoi, a secret je ne sais quoi. they're offering to you. <laughs> and finding that something, that is what I do best. In other words, if the restaurant does not already have a special something, then I simply cannot help it. Then what about CDs? Do you think you can help him? I can tell you this. The chef there already knows his secret. The talent is there to make that restaurant a success. Unfortunately for him, the secret spice that gives his dishes flair is extremely rare. He cannot secure supplies, and that is why he struggles. Let me be specific. Once upon a time, CD's recipes all featured the spice commonly known as civet musk. But then supplies dried up and the rest went into a long decline. <laughs> you seem to know a lot snow. about CD's. Well, Where? a long time There's ago. It's a picture of snow. Let's just say we have mm. a close history and leave it at that. Fine by me. All I need to know is that if I can find this spice, the restaurants should start bringing in customers. Yes, exactly. The problem is the spice is not easy to find. In fact, the only way to acquire it would be to defeat certain monsters. A kitty cat. Such a shame. All for want of a single spice, his restaurant is failing. He has the recipe for success. He just needs the final. Oh, that's why it's called Schrodinger. Schrodinger's cat. I'm an idiot. You don't know what Schrodinger's cat is? Okay. No. Take the civic must back to Gordon, then deliver his recipe to C's. Oh, oops. I already jumped down. Since you already have it, you could have just stayed there. Yeah. Dum dum. Shut up. Yeah. Hello. I recognize that fragrance anywhere. You found Civic Mask. Thank you indeed. It's very kind what you're doing. CDs is lucky to have you on its side. Why are you thanking me? If anyone should be grateful, it's me and the owner of CDs for all of your helpful advice. Oh, uh, quite so. When you put it that way, of course you're right. 
I just get caught up in a project and start thinking it's my own restaurant I'm saving. But back to business. Here, I developed this new and original recipe. I want you to take it back to Cedis together with the civic musk you acquired. The owner will be waiting anxiously for you. So, you still don't want to meet him yourself? Um, I'm afraid that won't happen. Not ever again. <laughs> However, <laughs> that doesn't stop me from wishing him and Cedis the very best. Please tell him that whatever happens, I'll be praying for his success. I wonder what happened to him. Yeah. <laughs> Lightning, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Do you remember what the owner of CDs told us when we met? You mean the story about his son that ran away from home and the restaurant started struggling? <gasps> Great minds, Hope. We've both been thinking that maybe this son of his went on to become a famous food expert. And that's why Gordon won't meet CDs owner. But he still clearly wants to help out. Let's take the Civic Musk and recipe to CDs. Gordon Gourmet created a new recipe for you. You should make it with the Civet Musk. Do that and you'll be able to save your restaurant. At least, that's what he said. Why, why thank you! This is wonderful! How can I ever repay you? He had to deliver it back to Gordon. This is incredible! Everything is here mm. in black and white! A yeah, groundbreaking done. dish! I'd never have thought to do half the things in this recipe. The genius of Gordon Gourmet oozes from every word. Notice anything else? About the recipe? No, not particularly. It's well organized, written in a clear hand. Wait, this handwriting, it looks strangely familiar. Yes, I've seen it before. These swirls, these bold loops. Could it be? I think so. It turns out Gordon Gourmet has a secret identity. He's your long lost son. He is? And you're sure it was him who created this wonderful recipe? But more importantly, he's in this town. Is he happy? You have nothing to worry about. He's doing great. Except, I'm really sorry, but I don't think he wants to see you again. I can't tell you where he is. But why? Yes, we quarreled when he left, but that was a long time ago. Is he still angry at me? Do you have a message for him? I can make sure he gets it. Well, how about this? I'm gonna make his dish, just like the recipe lays out. Would you be so good as to deliver it to him? At the very least, I want him to try it. Truth be told, what I really want to tell him is to come back to CDs and work with me. Perhaps if he knew that I still haven't lost my touch, would that be enough to entice him back? I don't know. I don't think words alone will do it, but if he tries your dish and likes it, that might be enough for him. And there it is, finished at last. Here, please, I want you to be the first to taste it. Ah. <laughs> Alright, I'm feeling hungry anyway. You just ate a bunch. I know. <laughs> you fatty. <laughs> wow, this might be the most delicious thing I've ever had in my entire life. Really, it's incredible. Why, thank you. Although all the credit must go to my son, it was his doing. Here, I've made enough for one more. I've asked you for many favors, but would you do this last thing for me? Sure. I'll take it to Gordon Gourmet. At least he's not very far. Yeah. Backtracking. <laughs> I'd be pissed. He's literally around the corner and he's, his son's around. <laughs> yeah, he he could probably see his dad from up here. The gate that leads to the industrial area opens at He can, his dad's right over there. You have to wait until the next day for your next chance to sneak in. Be careful to be on time to meet the children. You can see his dad. <laughs> oh, do I smell what I think I smell? I do, don't I? That must be my recipe. Yes, the owner at CD's insisted that I bring you a portion so you could taste it for yourself. I see. Well, then... Oh, yes. A perfect balance of fuzzy mutton and civet musk. <sighs> the palate sings. It's a microcosm of culinary delight. A theme park of old factory and gustatory attractions. And if you think that's hyperbole, I've only just begun. This is even better than I imagined. I always knew he was a skilled chef, but this... So, why don't you go back there and help him out again in the kitchen? Go back? Well, what do you mean? I've never... Oh, all right. Oh, the cat's out of the bag. You've somehow figured it out. 
what my true identity is. Yes, I admit it. I am indeed the son of the owner of CD's restaurant. It was a long time ago, but one day we quarreled, and I left the shop vowing never to return. We fought over cooking, you see. But even after I left, I vowed that one day I would rebuild the restaurant. That's what started me on my journey to becoming Gordon Gourmet. Since then, I devoted every waking hour to learning about the culinary arts. After many years of study, I finally had an epiphany. I realized what CD's restaurant needed to regain its former glory. You had a falling out because of the menu? But when your father saw your recipe, he was thrilled. All he could talk about was how he dreamed of you coming back. So the two of you could run the restaurant together, just like old times. So he recognizes my ability. Oh, but it's too late. I can't go back now. The fact is, I abandoned him in the restaurant when times were tough. I'm ashamed of what I did. I can't face him again. You pussy. Yeah, you pussy. You mustn't feel that way, my son. <laughs> He found him. How did you find me? My apologies to the young lady, but I wanted to see you. I followed her after she left the shop. What do you say? Let's start over. You set out on your own, did things your own way, stayed true to yourself, working hard to achieve your dreams. And now look what you can do. The recipe that you created was amazing. I've never seen the likes of it before. What can I say except that I am proud of you? But Father, I... I left you. Not in my wildest dreams could I have conceived of such a dish. Indeed, if you had given it to me back then, I doubt I would have recognized its greatness. But worse, I wouldn't have believed you could be capable of such a thing. I always underestimated you, my son. For that, you have my sincere apologies. All right, hug and make up already. Yeah, really. So mushy. For abandoning you in the restaurant when you were struggling to keep it going. Looks like you two have made up. Yes. Now let's get to it, shall we? Song this together. We'll make CDs a success again. All right. Finally. Speak to Olga at the stage. At the state. On the stage at Fountain Square. Fountain Square. Mm hmm Angel of Salvation. Profes. Nice. Let's show where she's at. Olga. From 11 to not, uh, 19. What time is it? 9. Bill. Let's see if we can do anything else. Stolen things. Twelve to four. What you gotta do. So you gotta wait till eleven. Okay. Where is this at? Be right here. You're not very far. No, I'll start heading there now. A microcosm of culinary delight, did he say? It says after you accept the quest, chase after the man in the mask just to the north of the stage. If you are quick, you can interact with him in within seconds. This is Birdie, Olga's song smith and lover. Spent much time in kitchens, but if you want something off a campfire grill, maybe I could rustle something up. I was never as good a cook as Sarah, but I have been told that I grill a pretty mean behemoth steak. It does hang up. Ha ha, it does hang up. And an enormous weapon. <laughs> Should be right around here. Right? Yes. You're mm -hmm. like literally right where. Hey. So she probably ended up right where that circle is. That's the stage. 
Brenda. <laughs> you want me to read while you're reading? Yeah. All right. Well, just give me the next step after this. Well. Don't read too much because I won't retain it all. You mean for the song with Steva? Or just what you need to do for the rest of the day? Or for this section? Do the song with Steva. Well, you're going to... This is this... You're going to talk to Birdie. You must cover his songs, more specifically the, ma the music section from a large group of gremlins in the lower city areas that are here. Yeah. These can be found at the waterfront to the east if you explore the area. You already fought them. So you should, should you hunt gremlins to extinction before fighting the group on the beach, you can find the music style in the lower city, close to the entrance of the warehouse. This is here, finishing this quest has a minor, minor secondary effect, while all flanators and personal guards throughout Yusinan will attack lightning until you complete main quest. Chapter 2-3, the group in front of the stage will leave her alone and must provoked. Hmm. So you just have to... Find that, and I guess bring it back to him. Okay. Right, what are we doing the rest of the day? Um, you have stolen things, which is this one. Then you have play it for me, which is this one. Then it says consider hunting three enemy types if you have some extra time in the afternoon. Then Nubis, which replaces other enemy varieties from 16 to 18, which you replaces 17, yields the heavy slash ability. The Desmonia, most commonly found in Lower City. Drops beat down ability. However, its drop rate is high and stagger unless you, if you st only stagger. Okay. It says which requires you to use physical and lightning you know, until attacks All immediately right. after rush. It says finally hunt the weak flanator until you have 34 clear ooze items required for two canvas of prayer quests. If you can send me, I have real quick. Okay. <laughs> Clear ooze? Mm hmm. Ten. Okay. It says you you need uh, 34. Okay. It says if you complete uh, the main quest 2 3 without securing this amount, it's possible to fight them in the grounds outside the patron's palace, but their spawn rate can be rather low. Okay. So if you have that many. It's so. Oh, then the rest of the day is just completing. Two, well, here. One, it says two, here two, noteworthy two. Trevor sp uh, treasure spears. You got the locket pendant, the thorn of will, and demon earrings. Okay, we got a lot to do then. Uh, this one requires six EP. Oh, fucking shit! Yeah. It's a powerful item, though. So. We're and then here, it. completing chapters two, one, two, 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 three, and five, five. So this is the long main quest. Mm -hmm. And then we're done with the day. Okay. Let's get it done. So we gotta wait. Does it say where those items are? Maybe I can get it close enough for me to grab them real quick. Lock it, end it. Seven. Is that anywhere near you? No. I'm right here. Yeah, it is. Thorn right of here. Will. Uh, 20. It's right down here. Okay. Oh, it's not, I can't go in there yet. Alright, demon earrings. 19. I can't go in there yet. Okay. So I can go get number 7. Locket pendant. You have to use your EP. Yeah. I'm gonna go do that real quick. Okay. I don't think we're gonna have enough time to get up there, actually. Ooh, a cactus. Morning. You're almost there. <laughs> 